call it the golden circle, and it's just a bullseye. Three concentric circles. In the middle is why, the center ring is how, and the outside ring is what. Why, how, what. It's this little idea that distinguishes those with the capacity to inspire from everyone else. Let me define the terms very quickly. Every single organization on the planet knows what they do, 100%. These are the products we make, the services we offer. Everybody here knows what they do, 100% of you. Some know how they do it, whether you call it your differentiating value proposition, your proprietary process, whatever you want to call it. It's the thing that you think makes you different or special from everybody else. But very, very few people know why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make money, that's a result. By why, I don't mean to keep the systems running, that's a minimum standard. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief. Why does IT exist? Who cares? Why did you get up this morning? Why did you come to work? And why should anyone care? As a result, the way we think, the way we act, the way we communicate is from the outside in. We tell people what we do, we tell them how we're different or how we're better or how we're necessary, and we expect some sort of result, support, finance, uh, money, whatever it is. But not the inspiring leaders, not the inspiring organizations, regardless of their size, regardless of their industry, every single one of them thinks, acts, and communicates from the inside out. Let me give you an example. I use Apple a lot just because they're easy to understand and we all get it. If Apple were like everyone else, a piece of communication would sound like, lit, like, lit, like this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> sound like this. They start with what they do. We make great computers. They're beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. Want to buy one? That's normal. Right? That's normal, right? We start with what we do. We say how we're different, how we're better, how we're necessary, and we expect some sort of behavior, support, a purchase. Um, Financing, whatever it is, you know? Here's our new car, it's got tinted windows, great financing, leather seats, choose it. Here's our law firm, we've got all the best lawyers, we went to all the best schools, we win all of our cases, choose us. Here's our IT department, we use all the greatest technology, we you're on the cutting edge of this, that, and the other, right? <coughs> I've never understood the concept of cutting edge. Different conversation. And we expect some sort of behavior but not the inspiring leaders, not the inspiring organizations. Regardless of their size, regardless of their industry, they all start with why. Here's how Apple actually communicates. Everything we do, they say, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. We just happen to make great computers. Want to buy one? It's totally different. It actually feels different. No trickery, no manipulation, no celebrity endorsements, no manipulations, and it actually feels different. What it starts to show us is that it's not what you do that matters, it's why you do it. And people aren't drawn to what you do, they're drawn to why you do it. And they don't support what you do, they support why you do it. This is the reason why every single person in this room is perfectly comfortable with the idea that Apple sells computers. We're also perfectly comfortable with the idea that Apple sells MP3 players and phones and DVRs. Newsflash. Apple's just a company. That's all they are. It's a corporate structure, right? They have some good products and some bad products. They have some good management, some bad management, some good systems and some bad systems. And all of their competitors have equal and open access to the same resources, the same consultants, the same agencies, the same talent, the same media, zero-sum game. Then how is it? that all of their other competitors can't do what Apple does. Dell makes perfectly good products. They're a perfectly good company. They're equally able to make every product that Apple makes. And yet a few years ago, they came out with PDAs and MP3 players, and nobody bought one. Why would we buy an MP3 player from a computer company? It doesn't make sense, but we do it every day. The difference is Dell and HP and all those other companies have defined themselves by what they do. We make computers. And so that's all they'll ever do. They have this narrow vision of themselves. Apple has defined themselves by why they exist. And everything they say and everything they do simply proves what they believe.